Hi, tiny humans. Hopefully you have finished document A, document B, and document C. You must finish all three of these things before you can start with your corroboration, okay? So if you have not finished document A, which is your pink paper, document B, which is your yellow paper, and document C, which is the blue paper, then pause the video and go do those now. Okay, you're still here, which means that you have all of your work done so far. Thank you for doing your work. For this, my wonderful human beings, we are going to answer questions to determine if the type of person no, to determine the type of person that Mansa Musa was by using and evaluating different sources. Those different sources are the three documents that we spent the last few days looking at. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight questions to answer. This is your purple paper in your packet. So let's read through the questions first and then we'll work together to answer them. Number one, based on the evidence, how would you describe Mansa Musa? Number two, what type of person was he? Number three, where else could we find information to answer these questions? Number four, were the claims made in the Huffington Post about Mansa Musa accurate? Number five, what evidence from each document suggests that Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? Number six, pick one document. What are its limitations? Number seven, what other types of evidence would help you to continue investigating whether Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? And number eight, what are some challenges in locating such evidence? So let's go through and let's talk about them together. So number one, based on the evidence, you have three documents worth of evidence. How would you describe Mansa Musa? Think of a few adjectives to describe him. Yes, he was rich. Yes, he was wealthy. How else could you describe him aside from his money? How else could you describe him? So that's what you're going to answer. You are going to say, based, because remember we're using the racist strategy. So we'll say based, on the evidence Mansa Musa was, and then you, my wonderful human beings, get to fill in the blank. Okay, question two. What type of person was he? Yes, again, he was rich, but what kind of human being was he? Was he a good person? Was he a just person? Was he a mean person? You decide, you write it down. Number three, where could we find information to answer these questions? Now this is kind of a weird sounding question, right? When it says these questions, what does that mean? That's right, questions one and two. How would you describe Mansa Musa and what type of person was he? So where else could we find information to answer how we could describe Mansa Musa and the type of person that Mansa Musa was. Okay, yes, we could use Google, but where specifically? We can't just open Google and say, what type of person was Mansa Musa? Or we could, and then what are the kind of websites that would pop up? More than just Wikipedia. Yeah, we could use books, we could use videos, for sure. So you're gonna answer question number three, where else could we find information to answer questions one and two? Number four, were the claims made in the Huffington Post about Mansa Musa accurate? Circle either yes or no. Number five, what evidence from each document suggests that Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? Friends, you have already done this work. Remember how in each activity you had to underline textual evidence that um, supported the claim that Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? Well, all you're doing is you are writing some of that evidence down. So for, from document A, the pink paper, 
What is one piece of evidence that shows that Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? From document B, maybe you underline something in the introduction, maybe you underline something from the inscription, or maybe you circled something on the atlas itself. You're going to write that down in the line for document B. In document C, there was a lot of evidence in this one. So you are copying down one piece of evidence that you underlined. Remember to use, what are they called? Quotation marks. And remember to use a citation. Good. Make sure you write the paragraph where you found it. So that's number five out of the way. Number six, pick one of these three documents, either the blog post or the map or, what's this last one? Oh, or the account from Alumari. So either document A, B, or C. You're gonna choose one of those documents and you're going to say, I chose document A. And then you'll talk about its limitations. The problem with document A is, and then you talk about how we don't get enough information. So when we're asking for limitations, we are saying there is a limit to what this document has given us. So what is the doc, I'm sorry, what is the limit, the limitation of document A? Or if you chose document B, what are the limitations of the atlas? Or if you chose document C, what are the problems? What are the limitations with Alumari's story? Number seven, what other types of evidence would help you to continue investigating whether Mansa Musa was the richest person ever? If you were going to do more research about Mansa Musa, what kind of evidence would you like? I know me personally, I would prefer some firsthand or some primary source documents. So the blog post was written 700 years after he lived. The Catalan Atlas was written, um, I think at the same time, but yeah, the Catalan Atlas was written about 40 years after Mansa Musa lived. However, it says in the text that Abraham Kresk had never visited West Africa. He relied on the accounts of travelers and traders to make his map. So personally, I would like something where the person had actually been there. Um, for document C, Alumari's um, account, he never met Mansa Musa. All of his stories were told to him. So me personally, I would like some primary source documents or some firsthand accounts. What about you? What would you like? Okay, so you're gonna write that down. And then number seven, what are some challenges in locating such evidence? Like, I would like, like I said, I would like information from people who lived or who knew Mansa Musa, who lived in Mali at that time. Maybe that stuff doesn't exist. Maybe it's in a library and it hasn't, it's not digitized or is not available to the public. What do you think are some challenges in locating evidence that you want to find? So you're going to write that down. My wonderful human beings, please make sure you fully and completely answer all of the questions. You are in big people school. You will use complete sentences to answer the questions about Mansa Musa. If you have any questions, if you need any help, who do you call? Well, yeah, you don't call any of us. Okay, fine. Who do you contact? That's right, you contact your teacher. Be good people, make good choices. Go Vikings.